Hi everyone, I'm Dar with the Healy Technology Report. Today we're going to have a look at a Yaystar TA100 and connect it to 3CX version 16 as an extension. Now this is one of our favorite little devices for uh, ATAs. We've worked with a lot of ATAs from a lot of different providers over the years. Yaystar is definitely uh, one of our favorites. This is the TA100. It's a single port. It also comes in the TA200 which is a dual port ATA. Now one of the things I like best about this is it is a USB power supply so uh, when you do have another device around you can simply plug it into a USB port to power it. Uh, we have an RG11 on this side and of course our Ethernet port. Now it isn't uh, PoE. It would be really nice if it was PA PoE but of course that would increase the uh, price at the same time. Now we're going to connect it to 3CX but before we get into it a big shout out to Andy at Blue Ridge. He's been pushing me uh, hard for a couple days about getting this video out uh, to get some problems solved. Also, uh, big things out to Brandon at Yay Star Support and Wayne at Yay Support. Those guys are great. Like I say, we've been doing uh, VoIP now for well over 10 years, and the Yay Star US uh, support team is top notch. So, big shout out to them as well. Okay, let's get uh, started and see how this is done. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to get into our 3CX phone system and set up an extension. So if we go over to extensions, select an extension, I've created extension 277 uh, for this device here. So that's what we're going to configure it as. Um, we've got a um, goodness. Uh, so we've got the name here, we've got support email address, and the information that we need here is on this phone provisioning screen. So uh, we've got 277, we've got an ID here, and then there's a password we're, which we're not going to expose. The other thing on this system is this IP, uh, this uh, host name that we're going to need. So we need three pieces of information. We need 277 the ID, the password, and the network name here. Now, once we have those pieces of information, actually there's one other thing that we're definitely gonna have to do as a remote extension. There's a disallow use of extensions out to the LAN, and this needs to be unchecked. By default, it is checked. So make sure you've got those pieces of information. Then we're gonna log into the TA100. Now, if you don't know what the extension of your TA100 is, when you plug it in, what you can do is you can plug a phone into it. You'll hear uh, here, and I'm gonna dial the star button three times and wait. So it says press one to hear the IP address. So I'm gonna press one. And so it's telling me it's DHCP and it's going to read out the IP address. So that's an easy way to get the IP address. I already know what it is, so I've logged in here. The default username and password are admin and pass now. Now you're gonna to wanna to change that right up front. Uh, I've already configured this device, so we're gonna walk through the settings. Now number one, uh, first of all, let's see what we need to do. Password settings here. So type in the old password, which is password. Type in a new strong password. That's really important. Date and time, I think, is important as well because you're going to want to make sure that is in your current turn time zone. That really helps with the CDRs and the logs on this device to make sure that you uh, can be confident in when the events and calls were happening. Uh, firmware updates, always really important to do make sure that you're on the, um, the latest version and that's all we're going to do in this section here now uh, if we go over to gateway uh, there's a few things that we are going to want to set up the first is uh, our SIP settings so uh, a couple things to look at here under NAT uh, I put in a stun server here, and this is for Counterpath. It's a big Canadian company, uh, and uh, so this will help 
if you are a remote extension. If you're on the same network as your 3CX, you, do, you certainly don't need this. And then I found this is really important too, local uh, network identification. So whatever your local network is, uh, you're going to want to put that in, the local network for where this device is. Uh, so I've got that in there. Um, advanced settings, I don't think we've changed anything there. That's all pretty standard. And uh, then let's have a look at our SIP port. So we're going to go FXS port. FXS is the RG11 here. Now this is a single port device, so you only see one device here. Uh, and we're going to go through the information. Uh, okay, so that, that's not going to let me get up. So let's go up full screen here so we can see a little bit more information. Oops. Uh, so port registration is default. That's what we want. 277 is, of course, the extension number that we set up in 3CX. 277 again for the username authentication name is that id value uh that we had in 3cx so that's the id for account 277 of course the password uh you're going to want to grab that from 3cx D, uh, did 277 all calls that come here will have a, a caller id 277 now i found it works much much better when you have your transport of tcp by default it's udp um, if you've got a, a network uh, that's incredibly slow and you're having call quality issues, you might want to switch back to UDP, but I found I had connection issues with that. Host name. Now, this also comes from 3CX, and then I found that I absolutely need to have the domain name in here, the same as the uh, 3CX. Uh, aside from that, what do we... Uh, looking at this is all very common information uh, and then under a dial plan I find that this is important so by default there's a single period I put some dial plan information here is NXX and XXXXX at six X's at the end and then one and then three extensions so this is a North American number that doesn't start with a one this is a North American number that does start with one and then our extensions on the system are three digits so that covers this XXX here and what this dial plan does is it just makes it faster to start dialing sometimes you're using the phone you dial and you wait 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 before it starts dialing this makes the uh, dialing faster okay so once that's all done uh, we're going to do a couple things. I have got a 3CX phone here. This is a soft phone from 3CX, and I've got a number of extensions. You can see 277 here is showing up and registered. So I'm going to pick this up, and I'm going to call this soft phone, which is 200. So I hear a dial tone, 200. And um, wait, 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 wait. There it is. There's a call coming in. Testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. Okay, so there's our one call. And then we're going to call in the other direction here as well. So I'm going to call from here. And I'm going to hang this up. And then I'm going to call 277 and enter. And there's our call there. And then I can answer and talk back and forth. So that is how you set it up. Uh, please check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Helia Canada, uh, and subscribe. If you are some of our Darius Lloyds or Lara Lloyds or Shmeed Lloyd uh, friends, we got fantastic pricing, but you need to go to uh, the uh, James Valley or Bert Shields phone book. We have an ad in there, and there is a special URL that gives special pricing. Uh, to our Lara Lloyd, Shmi Lloyd, and Darius Lloyd friends. So check that out. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, otherwise, uh, stand by. We've got more great videos coming out right away. I'm Dar with the Helio Technology Report. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.